Again, this is a counting journal. We're going to talk a lot about these journals later on. But now I'd like to go about and create a brand new item journal as type item counting. And I create a brand new one. And I pick and choose the counting and click OK. I pick and choose only the LCD of mine, which actually allows me to pick and choose a proper dimension. Financial dimension is already set for me. Inventory dimension has to be a proper location, which happens to be the location that I'm interested in. I don't have anything. I'm short. What I can do, go back and pick and choose this location and say, how many do I have? How many have I counted? Literally, let's say I have that many there, but we never noticed. Somebody moved it without telling the system. Let's say, hypothetically, I have 15 right there. Who has done it? Who is the worker? And I can validate it, make sure everything's good. And now I can post it. By posting, you're actually physically counting to see how many is there. So it knows exactly how many is going to be there. So if I refresh this, it knows that you have 15 here. Now... If I go back to the bill of material and do another validation, you notice that here it says for site 2, warehouse 200, location 2432, you cannot pick this up. You don't have enough of this. So let's go back here. The 2432, it was for warehouse 100. I have to do it for warehouse 200. So it's location is specific to the warehouse. Now I'm going to take this opportunity to show you the transfer journal. I'm going to go back here to the inventory management, take a look at the inventory journal. Create a new journal as type transfer. This is not a transfer order. It is a transfer journal. And by doing this, I can simply come here and say, why well, don't you transfer physically? We talk about transfer journals and all that. Again, later on in more detail. But let's pick and choose the transfer journal. And I click OK. What I do, I say, go ahead and pick and choose the LCD of mine. Financial dimension is set. And literally deduct 10 from warehouse 100. This location to site 2, warehouse 200, same location. So now in this scenario, if I validate this, I'm actually moving 10 from warehouse 100 to 200 within the same location number happens to be. So in this scenario, if I go ahead and post this, I'm actually transferring 10 from one warehouse to the other. So you have 5 here, 10 here. Now if I go to the bill of material, finally, if I validate this, I click OK. You notice that everything's good. If again, take a look at the on hand, I don't have anything available on ebook. As soon as I post this bill of material, now I'm creating one of each ebook. By going through the on hand, I refresh it, you see that I have one of each. This demonstration was a complete overview of what is it that we're going to get into the detail of, deep dive, throughout the rest of the sessions. So I hope you understand that we review everything again from a scratch, but at least you saw the whole story from beginning to the end, and we haven't even touched the surface.